what it is, YouTube Nation. We're back at it again for another install in the garage. Let's open it up. We're gonna do the double door. Not the double dicker, the double door. Today, we're gonna install Thrashing Supply Company Brake Arm. The adjustable one. It goes up, it goes down. It goes low, it goes high. Uh, stand by for the reveal. <laughs> reveal. Let's do it. All right, here we are. Thrashing Supply Brake Arm. So without further ado, let's look at the parts. The instructions. We're going to have to take off these, take off these to adjust the way we want it. Well, we got the brake pedal. Where's that? There it is. The brake pedal. I was hoping to get this in gold. Maybe I still can. Maybe I fucked up. So that'll go like that. Like so. I like how they etch everything with thrashing. I like their, it's quality stuff. Seriously. Like, feels great. Lightweight. Sturdy, looks good. It is a lovely day here in the lovely H-Town. Uh, it's 80 degrees out. It actually felt cold. So for all you people who think 80 is hot, uh, you should try whatever we're at. 60, 70 days of plus 100. 100? 100. So first part, we're going to take off the floorboard. This is a 3 16 Board off, right? Yes. Set that aside. Next, we're gonna take off the brake pedal. Five eighths. Arm comes off. No, it doesn't, because we gotta do that damn safety pin, huh? All right, I'm not gonna lie. That little cotter pin on the brake arm is a freaking bitch. I'd have put the lift, the bike on the lift just to straighten it out so I can get my head in there. I unplugged the plug, I took off the brake cylinder, removed the floorboard arm, just so I can get in there. It says that in the instructions. There's no way around it, you got to. And I took off the heat shield. So this is where we're at. Heat shield off, which wasn't hard, was just a couple screws. Now we're working on this. The Cotter pin, which is back in here. When I get it off, I'll, I'll show you. Still working on the freaking uh, cotter pin. Gonna try these uh, picks to get in the bottom. Dude, this thing was a bitch. I'll see if I can get that pin out. The culprit. We got the culprit. Ta -da! Hopefully, that new one's easier. <laughs> With these. These three screws came out. Now I'm gonna put blue Loctite on it. On here, there's little, I don't know if you can see it, there's little markings, one, two, three, three being the lowest. And then on the pedal itself, or on the, I don't know what they call it, the clevis, there's, there's a marking there as well, knowing that you're lined up. And you'll know you're lined up because the holes will line up. So, let's finger tighten these bad boys. And three. All right, now let's go push out the bushings. Let's go this way. One. Push them back in, I guess. How 
far are they going? I don't know. No one would go. So far it's pretty easy. Minus all the shit you gotta take off. So let's get back to this. Over at the bike. And let's have some more cuss words, okay? Alright. Alright, so we're back over at the bike. That's the back side. These are the instructions. We're gonna put it on. And hopefully everything goes smooth from here on out. On the back. Well, that wasn't so bad. I'm gonna put in the master cylinder screws. I'm gonna put some Loctite on these bad boys. There's little washers on there. Make sure you leave the washers on. Mm. Mm. That's what the vans are for. All right, you're not gonna be able to see this, so we're gonna turn you off for a second. It's just gonna be a lot of cussing. Please hold. Holy bat balls, Robin. Quirk to the washer. Just getting that freaking pin in isn't easy. Obviously, they did this before the pipes and all this crap were on. I know they did because there's no way somebody can do this easily. Unless there's a tool that I don't know about. And if I got a lot of hair in my nose, I'm sorry. We're putting this washer on, we're putting the cotter pin in, and then we'll be sitting upright for the rest of the procedure. Let's go. So here's the culprit. This is on the back side, back in here. Crazy. I don't know why you can't just put it like this. So I'm gonna try it like this. I'm gonna push it all the way through, pin it up, and then we'll get back to the install. Now we're back. To the install, should be pretty simple. So next is the rubber bushing. No, not bushing, whatever that is. Rubber washer. So we had to grease up the arm. So we greased up that. Okay. So it's at the most forward setting. Lock tape the bolts. Tighten the bolts. Always check your bolts first. I like to do everything three times. Three times, fool. Right, I'm running out of battery. So we're gonna reinstall the floorboard. Be right back. All right, now we install the brake pedal with bolt. Flat side towards the brake pedal, put it in. That way you can adjust. Bolt goes in from behind. And then you thread it on. Put some Loctite on there. Thinking something like that. Now you check to make sure everything works. Sounds like it, huh? Okay. Oh no, we're not done. I gotta put the freaking heat shield back on. All right, and then we reinstall the heat shield. Shouldn't be that hard, but we are dealing with me. The band back into the, the was a worm drive or screw, whatever. Well, on a scale of one to ten, it's probably seriously a five because you got to take off some parts. Man, eh, not a five. A four, but it's aggravating with the pin, all the other stuff you gotta take off just to get to this, just to get to that pin and to put on the brake. But once it's done, it looks pretty sick. I'm gonna go for a ride here in a minute with Jose, and we'll see if I fucked up, if I can't stop. Okay, let's go.